today we're going to be installing uh, Apache uh, we're going to have a look at uh, log check and log watch and install those and just get everything prepared for using Ubuntu as a website so first thing we're going to do is log in and you'll see there are some updates now just a handy hint to go through all the old commands the up and down arrow on your keyboard and we're just going to do the updates i run this command a lot just to make sure the box is in up to date obviously this is very much dependent on what kind of box it is if it's a mission critical box then you really should have a backup of it anyway uh, and you should have probably more than one copy of it so you can switch between them um, normally um, I would take a if it was a virtual machine I take a snapshot of the machine before I start installing updates just in case one of these updates goes wrong you can always then revert back to the um, the pre update snapshot if it's a bare metal machine well, that makes it a bit more difficult although to be fair I don't think I run any of my machines bare metal anymore they're all virtualized so they're easily transportable uh, they, they can be backed up easily uh, and they can be moved from one server to another they can be taken offline they can be moved to a laptop so somebody can have a look at them if they need to um, it just makes it a lot more a lot easier to, to work with um, when they're virtualized and it means that you can get a lot more uh, on each machine so a server uh, we can quite happily have 10 15 um, Ubuntu boxes all depending on what they're doing most of them are doing very light loads uh, many of my clients will do uh, to, to make sure they comply with their credit card regulations PCI DSS uh, they really you really should have um, one box per task um, so an email box uh, such as like now this is sometimes uh, when you're doing an update you'll get a message like this I'm just going to go uh, and use the uh, version that uh, the uh, update that the person that has built the update recommends just going to give it a quick reboot now and we're back up again and in we go now we're going to install apache so it's apache 2 i'm going to install php one of my favorite programming languages and we'll need that for a future video where we install wordpress and my sql server again we won't need it in this video but we are going to use um, MySQL in a, uh, a later video when we do install the next video when we do install WordPress uh, and we'll go through installing WordPress and custom themes and the such like so this shouldn't take too long they're fairly small packages and we should get a nice little website ready to go on port 80 once we're done again in future videos we'll look at securing them up adding a SSL certificate which is becoming more and more of an issue these days uh, Google newer versions of Chrome will warn now if you're not using a a secure connection so I'm just going to check to see what the IP address is 192.168.43.216 and let's pop over to a browser and there you go and we're just going to have a quick look at webmin now so you just got to remember that this needs HTTPS it's the first time we've been in so I'm gonna press visit the site 
and this just confirms that you trust the SSL so we're just gonna log in I'm gonna save the password because we'll be going in here quite a lot again this is um, one of my favorite pieces of software for managing Ubuntu boxes or any Linux box I'm not a great fan of this the new interface so I'm going to change it there are a few things that you can't do in this new interface that you can do in the old one so I'm just going to go for the gray themed one you can leave it to on the original interface if you want so we can see straight away um, name IP address versions how long we've been up for memory virtual memory disk space is always quite handy to see and previous logins just in case you can tell then if somebody's been on and at the moment we haven't got any servers so I'm just going to refresh the modules so it will run through what's installed check to see and we should get a list so now we've got Apache in there and MySQL and all the rest were previously in there one thing that I haven't done is we haven't installed Postfix uh, but we'll do that in a second and there's our little file manager so we can go in and there is our website and let's just delete that and we'll add our first web page in there and if you call it index.php it will be picked up automatically as the front page just going to go in and quickly edit it I like webmin again because this will give you syntax highlighting color co coding so you can see here it's already picked up that it's a PHP file and we're just going to say hello mom save and close back to the website right click and refresh and there you go our first web page on Ubuntu and Apache 2 my SQL server not much in there at the moment but we can do pretty much everything that needs to be done so we're just going to um, quickly install postfix postfix is a uh, email processing application here I'm just going to change the system name to uh, a fully qualified domain name We'll let that install it allows PHP to send out emails and we'll need it for log check and log watch so we refresh the modules again and you'll know it's done list of the servers and we now have postfix mail server so you can see and make settings general changes at the, this moment in time there's not really a lot in here to change I just leave it all of these as as is you can do you can make changes if you want um, to all sorts of things but and if you're going to use this uh, as an email processing um, center which we will go into uh, on, a, on a future video you'll make changes to it so I'm just going to install if I can spell it correctly log watch and log check so what's the difference um, log watch is um, will run through all of your existing logs uh, once a day or whatever you set it to and give you a summary of um, 
everything that needs to be done or everything that's um, that has happened over that day and log check will send you uh, an email every hour if there's anything in the logs that it deems to be out of the ordinary so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to find the log watch settings so it's under users shared log watch and default conf and you're looking for logwatch.conf uh, this is the settings file so we're basically looking for change the standard output to email or mail format text html doesn't really matter i prefer the text and the mail too is who it's going to come to so obviously i'm going to put a dummy address in example.com that you would put your real address in and i'm just going to change down here the details to medium all depending on what you want um, medium tends to give me enough information that i can look through high it's okay for a few days if you were specifically looking for something um, but medium tends to give enough information um, most of the time I'm um, all I'm interested in is um, how much traffic has gone through a website or something like that so we're now going to do log check same sort of thing change the settings here so etc log check and we are looking for uh, send mail to address so again, change that to deplicas at example.com. Obviously, again, you would change that to the address that you're interested in. And pretty much everything else is as is here. You shouldn't really need to change anything too much. And then we will save and close that one. And then this one here, this is the logs that it will check once an hour. I'm going to put in here, um, because we would be interested in it, the error log for Apache. Now, it all really depends on how much information you want. Um, I tend to do this because I tend to like to have a clean error log. That You're always going to get errors on an Apache server you will, or on any server, because you always get people that will try and go to places that they shouldn't do. Um, so you'll see here um, people have gone for things that don't exist um, uh, PHP my admin that's hackers trying to get in uh, but you can see that this uh, this is your daily summary it will give you a list of emails that have gone out and um, disk space usage at the bottom there this is log check this would be the kind of email that you get uh, once an hour um, uh, and it just shows you that um, if there are any changes in the log that are, are out of the ordinary so if somebody had logged on and logged off again um, or there'd been if one of the services had been restarted or or a, a certain set of commands have been issued and you can tailor it very much to what you need so at the moment that was the message that you saw on the screen there um, that would come up fairly regularly um, but you can exclude those types of messages and, and perhaps in a later video we'll go through how to fine-tune log watch and um, log check just so that you can um, dial them into exactly what you want uh, but that is for today's video uh, all done the next video we're going to look at we'll go through installing WordPress and getting it up and running and adding a custom theme.